Hi guys, I'm Russell and I make race and guide videos on iRacing. If that sounds like it might be up your street, please do consider hitting like and hitting subscribe. Maybe that little bell to keep up to date with my latest releases. Here we are in Okiyama for week three of season four 2020 of VRS GT Sprint. I'm in my Ferrari 488 GT3. Um, I've built a setup. I've got a ghost car. If you're looking to improve your times here for races this week, please do help yourself. You can find them on my website, uh, findingspeed.com forward slash GT Sprint. So quite a challenging track this. It's one that, you know, we probably already know reasonably well because uh, you drive it quite a lot as you're coming up through the ranks. Um, a great GT three track in my humble opinion but quite a challenging one to get the speed out of it um you know there's a lot of camber change there's some really tight and technical turns here um if there's one thing that's really really going to help this week it's going to be to be smooth and slow on your inputs that's on the wheel on the gas and the brake to really help keep the balance in the car to stop you scrubbing the tires stop you losing balance and control as you enter some of these particularly technical sections. Um, I'm going to do the usual thing. We're going to watch my example lap uh, in cockpit. And then after that, we'll go around again uh, nice and slow. And I'll break down each corner as I see it. Hopefully, you'll get some use from it. I'm not an alien. I'm probably about seven tenths off the really fast guys here, like the super alien people. But hopefully, um, you know, what I've got here can help you out in some way. If it does, let me know in the comments below. All right, guys, best of luck here. Have fun. Uh, let's get on with the guide. Cheers. Okay, so that was a 129.41 at Okiyama in the Ferrari. Uh, we're coming down to the bridge here. Now take no notice of the shadow because obviously depending on what conditions you're driving in, that can that can not be there at all or move or change. But we're basically going through and under and we're looking to break basically just as we pass the bridge. So we've just passed the 100 board. We're breaking before these tire marks here. And we're going to bring ourselves down to second gear. Now, there's an argument to say you could do this in third, but second just gives you that little bit of extra turn in. And what we're doing is we're coming in reasonably tight to the corner. And we really want to have done a good part of a, a, a good portion of our turning by the time we reach the end of the curbing here. Uh, so that we can then straighten up and start accelerating, you know, immediately without having too much steering lock. We don't want to, you know, we don't want to scrub the tyres here. We're going to throw ourselves right over to the right immediately. And we're looking towards the 
green curbing that's starting on the right and we're, we're sort of really gently and progressively brushing the brakes. Uh, if we break too hard here too suddenly, the back end's going to come out. If we don't break firmly enough, we're not going to hold it tight to the apex. So it takes a bit of practice to get this right. And it's difficult to do consistently. Basically what we're doing is we're doing our turn in. We're gradually increasing the steering angle. We want to be on the accelerator before we, we come to the apex here. But we're going to hold off. We're going to... Be light on the accelerator until we're confident we're making this corner and then we're at full steering angle and now we're happy we're coming out of the steering wheel we're full on the gas and we've exited just on the edge of the curbing we're going to continue that steering angle to keep tight to the left here and then straighten up to keep tight on the right we're looking ahead to the 100 board and the 50 board and we're breaking basically somewhere in the middle and we're going to have to break pretty firmly here we're going slightly downhill we've got a very very technical corner coming up on the right uh, so we're watching the inside curb approaching as soon as we're down to second we're turning in and basically what we want to do here and it's a really good and useful marker is where on the inside curve here where the the grass has kind of been eaten away by tires so you've just got some dirt that's our apex point that's where we want to be closest tightest to the curb uh, so we want to get most of our turning done here um, and then we want to ease off slightly on the steering angle we're already back full on the gas and we want to make sure we're keeping the car tight to this curb still at this point if we start going out too wide here now the camber of the road and the weight distribution of the car is going to point the back end out you're going to lose balance in the car and you're going to have a bad time so you want to make sure you keep it tight here um, and then as we're coming up over the brow here we can go easier on the steering angle and just have a good fast exit here so want to gun it up through the gears Keeping the car over to the left. We're coming to the slowest corner on the track. So we're looking at the boards on the left. We're looking to the 100 board. And just as we're hitting the 100 board, we're heavy on the brakes. We're coming out of the gas. We want to get the car all the way down to first gear. Uh, now, the way I like to take this corner is get in tight on entry to the apex and ride the curb round, and get out of the corner as quick as we can. So I'm gradually fading out of the brake here. I'm down to first gear. And by the time we're hitting the curb, we are really, really progressively coming out of the brake. We want to finish our braking effectively, you know, just as we're apexing so we can get back on the gas. But we're fading out in this way because what that's going to do is going to help point the car round to the right it's going to help push the car around and then we're back on the gas and we're pulling out of that steering angle as quick as we can so we're not scrubbing the tires and we don't want to exit too wide here because we need to be right over to the right and as we're approaching this patch of kind of uh, dirty uh, tarmac here dirty road we want to dip into the brakes throw the car over maybe probably dab the brakes a little bit more here because we want to hit this apex but then get straight on the gas and we can use the camber in the road to help turn the car more x as far over to the right as we dare here so what we want to do is we want to have a good angle on the car pointing in towards the next apex because it's a, it's a surprisingly tight corner and it's easy to get wrong and come out wide uh, catch a couple of wheels um, on the exit and spin the car so we need to get nice and tight onto the inside really gentle and progressive on the accelerator 
this is not an exit we want to miss. So keeping the car over to the right, we're looking at the 50 board. And we're braking heavily here. And we're all the way down to first gear. And again, uh, like the slowest corner on the track, we're coming all the way down to first gear here. And we're going to enter it right uh, tight to the curb. And as soon as we've got enough turning angle of the car, we're going to start accelerating and push out wide. Now, I caught a little bit of curb on this lap. So what actually ended up happening is the back end of the car sort of bumped round. So I ended up with a really shallow exit and I probably lost a couple of tenths along the way. But that's fine. A bit of oversteer there. Up to second for a split second. And then we're dabbing the brakes, probably to about 40%. Switching back down to first. And again, super tight to the curb. And fast out on the accelerator, just making sure we can unwind the wheel as we come up through the gas to really help us smooth. Okiyama really needs smooth inputs to get fast. It's it's a, it's a pretty challenging track to drive quickly. So as we approach this right hander, we're looking for the tyre marks on the track. And that's really going to be our indicator for, here we are here, for our turn in. And we want to get tight to this curb. We don't really want to jump the curb. It gets messy and it bounces the car. Um, but we're coming out of the accelerator. We're back in again. We're up to fourth. And then at the end of the curbing here, this is our cue to start braking. And I basically use the end on the left-hand side here of the dirty uh, kind of where the, where the grass has been eaten away uh, by traffic. I use the end of that as our cue to really finish our braking and start turning in so we're coming out of the brakes now we're turning in we want to catch the inside of the curb here and we need to be back on the gas pretty quickly it's a really challenging last corner it's very easy to lose a lot of time through that final corner but you want to use all of the exit on track and then we're pushing as quick as we can down to the line uh, to finish another lap here at Okiyama. I really hope this guide has been useful. Don't forget to download my ghost car and set up for the Ferrari. Uh, give it, a, give them a try. See how you get on. Have a really good week of racing here. It's a really, really fun track to drive but there's a couple of particularly challenging corners that are really going to keep you on your toes let us know in the comments how you get on this week if the guides helped uh, if you've got any tips or recommendations let us know uh, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you got anything out of the video thanks guys have fun and i will see you next time